In Sheng Jiaji, the ancestry of plant life dates back to hundreds of millions of years. During the Quaternary Period Ice Ages, the majority of plants on Earth died out. And the survivors have come to be called living fossils. Thanks to the mountain-forming Neogene period, Sheng Zhizhi, which is part of the ruling mountains, is a nearly endless mountain range. Having escaped the devastating cataclysm, Sheng Zhizhi has become the refuge for ancient plants and preserved the valuable biodiversity for the whole world. Ginkgo is one of the lucky plant species to live in Shang Jiaji, this oldest gymnosperm plant on Earth. is extinct in most parts of the world. Only a small population survived in China. In Shang Jiaji, ginkgo is not a dominant species and is rare in occurrence, but behind it is a venerable ecosystem traversing hundreds of millions of years. The dove tree, katsura tree, spur leaf, Chinese spruce, round wing fruit cyclocaria, and dawn redwood. All these plant species are living fossil plants that have survived through adaption and evolution. In Sheng Jiaji, large communities of these plant species can be found. The world's largest and most intact community of Chinese spruce is found on Batagongshan Mountain in Sheng Jiaji. These wild trees are undergoing a slow migration. Collectively, they are moving upward to higher altitudes at a pace that is barely discernible. Some used to grow in low altitude areas, but now all of them have withdrawn to the ridges over a thousand meters above sea level. This is a rivalry between new plants and ancient plants. Compared with the Chinese spruce from the tertiary period, the mass and pine from the Cenozoic era is better at adapting to today's climatic conditions. They've occupied an advantageous location and driven the spruces to the barren soils on the mountain ridges. Survival of the fittest is a law equally applicable to plants. In Shen Jiaji, Tianping Shan Mountain is the scene of the most vivid examples of plant succession. Here, the tertiary period plants are bidding farewell to its primary phytocenosium, making way for Cenozoic era species. Glabrous leaf Apollo tree, spur leaf, and Katsura tree. These rare and ancient species can be found at several meters intervals. But they also face challenges from Cenozoic era species. This linden overshadows the spur leaf and hogs most of sunlight, constantly putting squeeze on the living space of the latter. But the living fossil species have managed to survive to this day. Their willpower is certainly not to be sniffed at. The spur leaf resolutely gives up its crown and extends sideways. Perhaps several decades later, the spur leaf can replace the linden to become the overlord of this patch of earth. The passage of hundreds of millions of years has never dulled the spirit of these living fossil plants. They have gone through all the vicissitudes and survived through their flexibility. They've seized every moment to demonstrate their strength and vigor when you come to understand what these ancient plants have gone through, perhaps you will truly comprehend the meaning of life.